I wonder if there's a maximum number of times that someone can have strep throat. My tonsils are of absolutely no use. I've had strep like three, four, maybe four times in the last 12 months. It's kind of depressing me. So I'm making this video sickly. Hello. It's the weekend. It should have been Friday, but I've felt like crap. Um, also, I've eaten Cinestics for dinner for two straight days now. Pretty sure I'm gonna need an intervention. They're just so dang good. Um, what else did I want to tell you? Um, oh, you know what I decided? That Ellen is the new Mickey Mouse Club. You know how in the 90s, and maybe early 2000s, but mostly the 90s, people, young people, singers, dancers, actors, whatever, would go on the Mickey Mouse Club, and then they would get on the Disney Channel, and then they would be, like, super famous, right? Now, now, if you're talented, and you want to be famous, you just go on Ellen. Well, first go on YouTube, but most importantly, you go on Ellen. And then everyone knows you. I think that's impressive. High five to Ellen. Okay. <coughs> Ugh. I'm sad. This week's topic is about I love yous. Little candy hearts and things. Um, someone wrote in saying that their significant other doesn't like to say I love you, or has never, and she doesn't know what she should do about that, or if she should kick her to the curb for not saying those three little words. And may I just say that I think it's kind of awesome that I go last and all the beavers say things that I'm going to say. It's like we're connected on a higher level. We're all meant to be bees. We got that ESP. Because I was totally going to talk about love languages. And then Lori took it. So, instead, I will say that I had a similar experience with someone showing me their love in high school. Um, my long-term girlfriend put post-it notes all over my car. And on each post-it note, she put a memory of something that we had done together or something that was meaningful, like one word or two words. And I came out from work one day, and my car was completely covered in post-it notes. And it was awesome. And then in the middle, it was like, I love you. So I think that some people just find it awkward to just come out with it. And maybe they don't know if it's the right time or not. My question to this question, I usually have one, is what does she do when you tell her that you love her? If you say I love you, does she like just look down and get awkward? Or does she say thank you? Oh, that's the worst. Someone says thank you, you should run. <laughs> but like, what's her response, you know? I think you should gauge how she reacts to your... Your? My voice is apparently all over the place. I think you should gauge how she reacts to your affections. And if she seems uncomfortable, then maybe there is a sign that she's really not in this as much as she should be. Since you guys have been friends for such a long time, maybe um, this, you know, less than a year relationship is still new. Um, and she's still getting out of friend mode, if you will. Does she say I love you to other people, to her friends, to her family? Is she an I love you kind of person? Some people just aren't very affectionate with their words. Um, another one to watch out for that I personally think is really important is uh, apparently now saying love you, like without the I, minus the I, is like a, a term of endearment for like friends. Like you can say like love ya or whatever, like between girls or whatever. I don't know many guys really that say it, but I don't know. Anyway, um, and so that I, that pronoun, I as a pronoun, right? That single letter means a lot. And so if someone says, love you, instead of I love you, I don't know. It makes me wonder. I'm OCD like that. I'm just it's weird. It shouldn't matter. But 
And then once once I move past the I love you, and we've been saying I love you for a while, then at the end of every conversation, like AJ was saying, I really do say, okay, love you, bye. I, I don't know, maybe I'm consistent. Maybe you should just be proud that I'm consistent. Damn it. Okay, I'm delirious. But that's my answer. I think that you should be brave and ask her what she thinks. And then maybe you'll get your answer. I'm gonna go sleep now. <coughs> Ugh. Goodbye!